Hello, I hope you guys are all doing great. This is the nail art design we're going to be working on today. Each of our nails has a different background color. For example, this one is blue, this one is red, yellow, green, and then the thumbs are going to be the purple ones. So I'm going to take you step by step to doing this. You can also decide to do them all the same background color, but um, it's up to you. It's a really fun nail art design and I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Let's get started. The first thing we will begin by doing is applying your background color. My background color for my thumb is the purple nail polish. After that I'm going to go in and I'm going to get a white nail polish and we're going to do a swervy side swipe starting right in the corner and swerving it all the way to the opposite side. I'm going to get my white nail polish and I'm going to start very low over on this area and all I'm going to do is start here low and I'm gonna make a wave a second wave and a third wave so we have three wavies there I'm going to now polish this entire area and it might take um, two tries just so we can fill everything in really well I'm gonna clean out so what I'm gonna do there is I'm gonna allow this to completely dry and then we will move over to the next step. The next step is I'm going to be adding the big dots in the white polished area. So I've globbed my piece of paper with red, blue, purple, and yellow. I'm going to be getting my dotting tool, the biggest part of my dotting tool, and I'm going to start placing the dots. I'm going to start with the red, and I'm going to place the red right in the middle of the, of the nail. So I'm just going to make sure it's nice and flat. The next color I'm going to uh, place is going to be the purple and I'm going to be placing the purple over on that corner so I'm going to go over it twice also making sure that it's nice and dark the next color is going to be the blue and I'm going to be placing the blue dot over here and it's also going to take more than one try so there's the blue and the last one is going to be the yellow so I'm going to go in and I'm going to place the yellow right there. The following thing is we're going to get some of the background color, which is the purple one, and I'm going to be drawing small purple dots. So I'm going to clot my piece of paper with fresh purple polish. I'm going to be using the small part of my dotting tool, and I'm going to be drawing random purple tinier dots. just wherever you want to place the tiny dots. And that's all we've done up till there. I'm going to get my white polish and I'm going to place some of the white polish in the paper and I'm going to be using the small part of my dotting tool again and I'm going to be dotting the middle of the white dots we made. Only the middle. So I'm going to um, dot that middle I'm going to move over to the blue and dot that middle, the purple one, and lastly the yellow one down here. And that's what we have so far. I'm going to allow this to dry and we're going to move over to the next step. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be outlining the little swervies we made. And the way I'm going to be outlining them is I'm going to be using the biggest part of my dotting tool and I'm going to be overlapping them doing a pattern. Uh, just You can see here I use red, yellow on all of them. I did that on all of them. It's just using a pattern and th this is the pattern of the colors I'm going to use. So I'm going to start by applying the green and over here in the bottom I'm going to dot with the green. The next color is going to be the blue and it is important that you have some sort of a tissue by you so that you could be cleaning out the colors on the side. And it ran a little bit down here so let me clean that out with my orange stick. Okay, the next color is going to be the red. So I'm going to place the red right there. The next color is going to be the yellow and you're just following the shape of the little swervy so that they're not straight. I'm going to begin again with my green, so I'm just going to place fresh green. I'm going to dip my dotting tool, so you're just working on that pattern. Once you're done, you dip it again into the next color. The next color was the next color was the blue. Glob it with the blue, 
and then the following color was the red and if your nails are longer just keep going until you finish all the sides of your nail so the next thing we're going to do is in the middle of these dots I'm going to be dotting a little uh, purple dot for example on this one I dotted a blue one because my background was blue on this one I dotted them with red yellow etc depending on what color you used on your background but to do that I'm gonna to have to allow my big dots to completely dry so I'm gonna move over to the next step meanwhile that dries I'm gonna be applying white nail polish and I'm gonna be doing dots over on this section and I want them to be in different sizes they don't have to be all the same size okay so I'm gonna start over here and then I'm gonna do a smaller one over here I'm gonna dip again we can do a bigger one there and then we'll do a smaller one there and just in different sizes then I'll do another one over. now that my bigger dots are completely dry I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna dot them with the purple polish I'm gonna be using my small dotting tool so I'm gonna dip them in I have the purple polish over here I'm gonna dip them into the purple polish my small dotting tool and I'm just gonna dot the very middle of the little dots. So I'm going to go around dotting all the middle of them. And that's it. The last thing to do is going to be you're going to have to allow this to completely dry so you can uh, add your top coat. So that's it for the design. It's not a difficult design to do. It's very easy, very fun, very I don't know, they remind me sort of of balloons, like different colored balloons. I hope you guys like this design and try it out. Be safe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!